السلام عليكم أنا دكتورة ياسمين طارق أشرح لكم السلايدز الخاصة بمادة Introduction to Business على الويب سايت نبتدي النهاردة بشابتر 4 وجزء من شابتر 5 شابتر 4 will be about the challenges of starting a business The first title here is Entrepreneur What's Entrepreneur? All of us know that entrepreneur is one of the factors of production from the previous chapters, which are land, labor, capital, and entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is defined as someone who has the spark or the new idea, unique, different idea in order to start a business. This entrepreneurial activities must have three certain characteristics. To be innovative, to be risk taker, and to be able to run a business. Innovative means that you have the ability to offer a new product or a new idea or a new service in the market. For example, here in Egypt, from three or four years, Uber and Karim as a service offered in the market was considered to be innovative idea. It wasn't found before uh, to have such type of services through application of the mobile. Running a business means that he, to be able to, to run a business in order to achieve the goal of the business of achieving profit. Risk taking any business have, must be characterized, uh, the manager must be characterized by the ability to be a risk taker because it is uncertain that or not sure that you are going to achieve profit. يبقى باختصار كده يا أولاد الانتربرنور هو الشخص صاحب فكرة البداية اللي المفترض إنها تكون جديدة ومختلفة عشان يقدم خدمة أو سلعة جديدة في السوق. فطبعا لازم يكون عنده قدرة ابتكارية إنه يبتكر فكرة جديدة ويكون عنده المهارات اللي تأهله إن هو يمشي البيزنس ده بحيث إنه يحقق بروفيت ويكون طبعا ريسك تيكر يعني عنده الابيليتي إنه ياخد الريسك لأن as a rule ريسك تيكينج مينز ذات يو ار اكسبكتينج هاير ريتيرن ذا هاير ذا ريتيرن ذا هاير ذا ريسك سو تو بي ريسك Taker, this is have a positive side to achieve higher profit for your organization. What is a small business? Small business is a company that operate in the market and have little influence on its industry or in the market it's work, it works in. And most probably the number of employees in a small business is less than 500 employees. So what is what differentiate between entrepreneur from a small business? Uh, business owner. Small business owner are inter. Not all small business owners are entrepreneurs, which means that a small business may start with already common idea or already used idea. For example, like the delivery of a home-made uh, food uh, or uh, homemade food or fast food. This is considered as an already existing idea, but on a small scale. But most entrepreneurial ideas will start as a small business to try the idea and uh, to uh, assess its success in the market. Small business have three types, either salary substitute or people start lifestyles or entrepreneurial. We said before here that most cases, entrepreneurial activities or products will start on a small scale. Uh, or that the small business will uh, provide for me salary similar or near to the salary that I would take from any other company, from uh, working in any other company, or uh, to start a small business which will accommodate my desired lifestyle. يعني أنا ال ال types بتاعة ال small business يا إما إن هو هيوفر لي salary اللي ممكن أحصل عليه من أي مكان تاني أو قريب منه إنه هيبقى مناسب لل lifestyle بتاعي آه أو إنه هيكون بيقدم لي بيقدم فيه فكرة جديدة بتاعتي في السوق. What are the benefits expected from small business? The first one is create job. What's the meaning of a create job? Small business is considered as an opportunity for many people to have a job. Not all of us aim to have a job in large companies or multinational companies, but this is not available for all of us. So small business may be a good opportunity for, for many of us to have 
a good job like women like uh, minorities like black people for example in america uh, like women as the example of uh, homemade uh, food this is considered as a good example for small business uh, by women so it's offer for them opportunity to have uh, to have a good uh, job instead of working in uh, large companies also it spark innovations which means that it gives you an opportunity to start your new idea but on a small scale in order to assess or try it whether it will be successful or not يعني من الفوائد المشروعات الصغيرة انه بيخلق فرص عمل للأقليات وللستات زي بالظبط الاكزامبل اللي قلت لكم عليه في السلايد اللي قبل كده الاكل اللي بيتعمل في البيت ده يعتبر فرصة عمل كويسة لستات كتير ما تقدرش انها تسيب بيتها ما تقدرش تشتغل في وظيفة بمواعيد ثابتة فده بيوفر لها دخل من خلال ان دي تعتبر فرصة عمل في نفس الوقت أنا لو عندي فكرة جديدة أقدر أطبقها على سكيل صغير ما أقدرش أعملها على سكيل كبير أو مشروع كبير فأقدر أبتدي بيها الأول عشان أشوف هل هي هتبقى ناجحة ولا لأ في السوق بصفة عامة What small business do for big business? Or in other words, what are the opportunities or the services that small business can offer to big business? One of the very clear examples are the automotive dealer. The automotive dealer often act as sales agent for the products of large companies, for example, car uh, makers. Uh, also, many other services are offered by small business to large companies like accounting, legal and insurance services. Uh, these are examples of um, services that can be offered from small business to a big business. Also, small business tend to make an environment to be attractive for innovative ideas or for people who have talents to try their new ideas. يعني إيه الحاجات اللي بيقدمها ال small business لل big business؟ أولا في خدمات كتير بتقدمها شركات صغيرة زي الخدمات المحاسبية زي الخدمات الشرك حاجات التأمين الاستشارات القانونية بتقدمها لشركات كبيرة. زي ما بنقول في شركات مكتب محاسبة صغير بيعمل الحسابات للشركة كبيرة وكمان بيوفر لنا بيئة مناسبة الناس اللي عندها تالنت أو اللي عندها حاجة جديدة عايزة تجربها تقدر تجربها أو تبتدي بيها من خلال small industries by sector what's the meaning of industry industry is a group of companies offering similar products but uh, are competing together. We can classify these companies into goods producing companies and service uh, producing companies. Goods producing companies which offer products that have physical existence, for example, like food industry, clothes industry, uh, service uh, producing companies like companies offering services like accounting, like advertising, like insurance companies. Um, معنى صناعة صناعة متقسم ممكن نقسمها لمجموعتين رئيسيتين شركات بتقدم خدمات شركات بتقدم منتجات ليها وجود مادي التانجبل جودز اللي هي الحاجات اللي ليها وجود مادي فزي مثلا صناعة الملابس صناعة الأغذية لكن الشركات الخدمية زي الشركات أو المكاتب اللي بتعمل حسابات اللي بتعمل دعاية وإعلان زي الـ people who have skills to offer services like painters, plumbers in construction industries أو زي اللي بيجي يبيض أو يعمل أي أعمال في صناعة الإنشاءات زي مثلا السباك زي المبيض what are the expected advantages from having small business ownership? The first one is independence. What's the meaning of independence? You will be your own boss. This is, will be your own business. Uh, also lifestyle. Lifestyle means that you can be in charge to make uh, conditions of your business which is suits or um, comfort you with your own lifestyle. Also financial rewards, it may provide for you when you run your own small business financial uh, profit which may be higher than other salary that you can earn from another company when you were a normal employee. Learning opportunities to have a new 
or a small business means that you will be involved in all aspects of the business from the uh, starting from the management till the simple work so you will gain experience and opportunities in different types or different aspects related to running any business create a freedom and personal satisfaction to be your own boss and to gain your uh, own profit this will give you a uh, personal satisfaction from watching your business succeed to have uh, to effort which will lead to the success of your own business يبقى ايه هي المزايا المتوقعه من سمول بزنس انت بتبقى مستقل انت الرئيس بتاع الشغل بتاعك بتوظف الشغل ده على حسب الستايل بتاعك يعني فور اكزامبل there are people who like to have a evening job so it will be suitable to make this on their own small business الناس اللي بتحب تشتغل بالليل اكتر من بالنهار مثلا العائد المادي انت ممكن لما هتشتغل هتجيب هتكسب العائد المادي ده ممكن يكون مربح بالنسبه لك اكتر من لو انت موظف في شركه موظف عادي كمان بيديك فرصة ان انت to gain uh, skills and opportunities in all different aspects of the business بيديك فرصة ان انت تكسب مهارات وتكسب uh, خبرة في كل مجالات البزنس لانك هتبقى مسؤول عليه من الالف للياء وبرضو بيديك فرصة ان انت uh, تحقق رضاك انت الشخصي من خلال ان انت تبتدي حاجة وتشوفها بتنجح قدامك تشوف البزنس بتاعك بينجح قدامك But what will be the expected disadvantage of small business ownership? The first thing is financial risk. Financial resources needed to start and grow a business can be extensive. And in order to make these resources available, this uh, be a certain risk in order to know from where you are going to make the needed funds or the needed resources to run your business available. Also, uh, sometimes you may not achieve profit, you may achieve loss. So this is considered as a financial risk. Also stress. You will be responsible for everything in your own business. Competition, employees, bills, equipment, breakdowns, any problems related to uh, customers or related to employees dissatisfaction. So this is considered as a stress. Also time commitment. To run your own business or to run this small business, you will have less free time for your own life because you will be responsible for running the business uh, which will be extremely time consuming. Undesirable duties means that sometimes the, uh, you are going to take some in undesirable decision. For example, like firing people. الحاجات العيوب بتاعت ان انا يبقى عندي سمول بزنس طبعا الفاينانشال ريسك ان انا اخلي كل الموارد اللي انا محتاجها متاحه ازاي هجيبها ازاي هوفرها وممكن بعد ما اشتغل مش شرط ان انا احقق بروفيت ممكن احقق لوس فده يعتبر مخاطره ماليه بالنسبه لي في نفس الوقت الضغط انا لما بكون بران سمول بزنس معناها ان انا بفكر في المنافسين ازاي اشغل الموظفين اللي عندي امضي شيكات اطلع فواتير ارضي العملاء بتوعي كل ده بيعمل عليا ضغط ولازم اعرف اوظف وقتي كويس لان معنى كده ان انا مش هيبقى عندي فري تايم لنفسي انا كتير كمان ده ممكن يخليني في بعض الاحيان باخد بعض القرارات اللي مش لطيفه بالنسبه لي زي بالظبط ان انا ارفت حد او امشي موظف عندي ده يعتبر unpleasant decision or undesirable duty What's a business plan? Business plan tells the story of your business concept, or in other words, it will summarize all aspects related to your business, starting from what will be the goods or service your business is going to offer, how uh, you are going to uh, make the needed funds or financial resources available, how you are going to repay your debts if you have taken a loan or any or something like that, uh, who are your competitors, either locally or uh, globally, either uh, locally or globally, like number eight, global issues, how you are going to market for your product or service and how you are going to apply the four uh, main P's uh, of marketing in your business. What will be your marketing uh, plan? What will be your management plan? What are the required skills uh, for managers or employees you need in your business? 
uh, what will be uh, your mission or your core values yani how you are going to manage your employees or how you are going to run uh, your business in a way that you see it appropriate also uh, it must include at the beginning an executive summary which will be a summary for all the following aspects in front of you and at the end it have uh, appendices which is supplemental information that may be of interest to the reader يبقى البيزنس بلان هي عباره عن ملخص لقصه حياه البيزنس هيحتاج ايه الخدمه او السلعه اللي هيقدمها الصناعة أو المجال اللي هيشتغل فيه آه، إزاي هيسوق للبضاعة بتاعته إزاي هيوفر الموارد المالية اللي هو محتاجها طب ولو هياخد قرض أو دين إزاي الطريقة اللي هيسد بيها يبتدي يبص لل... يعرض مين هم منافسين الشركة سواء على الصعيد المحلي أو على الصعيد العالمي يعني سواء جوة البلد أو جلوبالي براها ايه طبيعه الصناعه اللي هيشتغل فيها وفي البدايه بيكون فيها اكزيكتيف سامري اللي هو بيبقى تلخيص لكل ده في صفحتين او ثلاثه وفي النهايه بيبقى فيها الابندسيس اللي هي الملحقات اللي هي بيكون فيها اي معلومات يحب اللي بيقرا البيزنس بلان دي يبقى عارفها عن الناس اللي شغاله عن المنتجات اللي بيقدم قدموها من خلال معلومات او ريبورتات مكتوبه في الابندسيس ده زي بالظبط لما بنعمل بيبر او بحث بنلاقي في الاخر ابندسيس عباره عن تيبلز بتقدم معلومات عن الفكره بتاعه البحث اللي احنا بنقدمه The last thing in this chapter is why do business succeed and why do business fail Any business owner will face many challenges or obstacles or problems so we have to follow uh, certain aspects in order to be able to overcome this problems first of all he must know well his own business know uh, the type of industry which his business is working is going to work in this uh, industry uh, know all the basics or the basic functions of management how to uh, operate to plan how to uh, lead his employees how to make controlling also he must have the proper attitude by dealing with his employees and also his own customers and must make a financial plan how to make the needed funds available from where he is going to make required resources available either by borrowing or from invest from in, uh, taking from his own uh, investments and then to look uh, on the long run how to expand his uh, investment his own investment and uh, sure how to manage his time efficiently how to uh, utilize the available time time is considered as one of his resources in order to achieve the goal of his own business how to uh, manage people and lead them and satisfy customers and how to deal with his competitors either inside uh, the country or uh, outside the country either locally or globally يعني, uh, el- اي صاحب بزنس بيواجه مشاكل كتير عشان يقدر يتخطى المشاكل دي اولا لازم يبقى فاهم كويس في نوع الشغل اللي هو بيشتغل فيه طبيعه الصناعه او البزنس اللي هو هيشتغل فيه يكون عنده الاساسيات في الاداره يقدر ان هو يحط خطه يقدر يوجه الموظفين اللي عنده يقدر يعمل عليهم كنترولينج وكمان يكون عامل خطه ماليه يعني يشوف ايه الموارد اللي الشغل بتاعه هيكون محتاجها ويشوف ازاي هيوفرها له سواء من ياخد من استثماراته الخاصه او ان هو يقترض وازاي هيسدد القرض ده وازاي على اللونج ران يقدر ان هو يعمل توسع للاستثمارات بتاعته مش بس يكتفي انه هيقف وطبعا ان هو يدير الوقت بتاعه كويس يعني يقدر لان الوقت ده بيعتبر من احد الموارد عشان يقدر يحقق الهدف بتاع البزنس بتاعه وكمان يعرف ان هو يتعامل مع المنافسين ليه يبقى أوير جدا بأي حاجة هما بيقدموها جديدة يعني for example know how to compete in most companies each company must know what uh, what its competitors are offering in the market must be always aware with the offers uh, provided 
uh, by its competitors in the market in order to be updated to face any competition يعني اي حد هيقابل uh, لازم هيقابل اي منافسه عن طريق انه يبقى على طول ابديتد بالمنتجات او الخدمات اللي بيقدموها المنافسين بتوعه في السوق What are the main reasons behind the failure of any business? First is bad business idea. What is the meaning of bad business idea? It means that the idea or the product or the service offered by this business were not attractive. Cash problems, which means that the business uh, was underfunded. Managerial inexperience or incompetence means the lack of experience for the owner regarding running business. Lack of customer focus means that the business didn't pay attention for attracting uh, customers or satisfying their needs. Inability to handle uh, growth means that the business was not able to expand its volume. It was successful at the beginning but stopped at this limit and uh, was not able to expand uh, its activity. يبقى ايه الخمس اسباب الرئيسيه اللي بيكونوا سبب ورا فشل اي بزنس ان يكون فكره البزنس نفسه مش مش فكره جذابه او مش مناسبه للسوسايتي اللي احنا عايشين فيه ان ما يكونش عندي الموارد الكافيه اللي تخلي البزنس ده يبتدي بدايه صحيحه ما يكونش عندي كاونر للبزنس ده خبره في اداره المشروع او ان انا افتح مشروع الحاجات الصفات اللي احنا قلناها في السلايد اللي قبل كده ان ما يكونش بيهتم كفايه انه يشبع رغبات العميل ويوصل لهم الخدمات او المنتجات اللي هو بيقدمها وما يكونش عنده قدره انه يتوسع يعني هو نجح في حته لحد ليميت معين ما عندوش طموح انه يوسع نشاطه او انه يكبره او انه يكبر حجم البيزنس بتاعه chapter 5 will talk about managing effectively what are the main functions of management and uh, how a manager uh, can operate business properly The role of management in general is the best utilization of the available resources, whether it's human resources or financial resources, to achieve the organization's goal or objectives. Most shareholders rank good management and long-term vision as two most important characteristics of a firm through planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. The manager is the one who is able to operate the business both effectively and efficiently. What's the meaning of effective and the meaning of efficient? And what is the difference between the two terms? Effective means to be able to use the available resources in reaching your goal, achieving your goal. This is means effective. But efficient means that you are going to make the minimum utilization of available resources in order to reach your goal. الفرق ما بين effective وما بين efficient. Effective يعني فعال. يعني أنا هقدر أوصل بنجاح للهدف بتاعي. للجول بتاعي. لكن efficient إزاي أقدر أعمل أحسن استخدام للموارد المتاحة عندي وأوصل لنفس الهدف يعني بمعنى آخر أوصل لنفس الهدف باستخدام أقل الموارد المتاحة Efficient manner means that to reach to the same goal using the minimum available resources So we can say that effective means that the right thing got done and efficient means that activities were performed in the right way in order to reach to your goal. From this uh, figure, it's clear that efficiency means resources, the best use of resources, uh, use for as few resources as possible to reach to the managerial success. Low resource use, high efficiency. But effectiveness deals with to reaching the goal, achieve the goal as fully as possible. Yani its main aim to reach to, to the goal and neglect the part of minimizing the use of available resources. The main functions of management that managers should do starts from planning, organizing, directing, controlling, because the first step is to plan, to put a plan in order to be able to know how to reach to the organization's goal. Planning in order is the first function that managers should do. It means that the manager 
is going to set goals and determine the most efficient way in order to reach to these goals. Of course, it starts from the top level management, works its way down. The manager will put the plan and the employees in the middle level uh, managers and the first line managers are going to put this plan into action and give the manager a feedback يعني البلان هو يا اول حاجه في المانجمنت فانكشن طبيعي انا قبل ما ابتدي اي حاجه اي بزنس اي اكشن في البزنس بتاعي لازم بحط له خطه الخطه دي عاده بتبتدي من الهاير ليفل مانجرز وبتتطبق او بتتنفذ عن طريق الميدل ليفل مانجرز والفيرست لاين مانجرز اللي بيحطوها في حيز التنفيذ ويدوا فيدباك للمانجر للهاي ليفل مانجر اذا كانت هما فولو البلان از ات واز بلان درون اور نوت بينفذوا الخطه كما كانت موضوعه ولا لا